Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on maximum heap and minimum heap. First of all, what is heap? Once you have easily understand what is heap, then we go for maximum heap and minimum heap. Heap is a complete binary tree. Okay. And it is also a data structure. Okay. So first of all, what is complete binary tree? A complete binary tree is a binary tree in which all the nodes except the last level has two children and the nodes in the last level are as left as possible. So this is the definition of complete binary tree. Now we have to check whether these trees are complete binary trees or not by using another definition. Okay. So now this is a binary tree. So once we are representing this binary tree in the array representation, I am telling whether it is a complete binary tree or not. Okay. First, this binary tree can be represented in the array. Okay. First, here root node is A. Okay. So, A is stored at index 1. So, here index i is equal to 1. A index is 1. Next, its left child is located at 2i position. Okay, where i is index. 2i means i value 1. 2 into 1, that is 2. So, left child is b. b is located at index 2. Next, its right child is located at 2i plus 1. 2i plus 1. Here, left child is located at 2i. Here, i value is 1. Okay. So, 2 into 1 plus 1, that is 2 plus 1, that is 3. So, C is stored at index 3. Okay. So, now, what is the B index? B index value is equal to 2. C index value is equal to 3. Okay. Now, B left child is D. Okay. Left child is located at 2i position. Here, i value is 2. 2 into 2, that is 4. So, D is located at index 4. Next, B right child is E. It is located at 2i plus 1. 2i plus 1 means i value is 2. 2 into 2 plus 1, that is 5, that is E. Next, so C left child is F. So, here F is located at 2i position. Here, i value is 3. 2 into 3, that is 6. So, F is located at index 6 and G is right child of C. It is located at 2i plus 1. 2i plus 1 means i value 3. 2 into 3 plus 1. That is uh, 7. 7 is G. Okay. So, next in the same way here. So, A is located at index 1 and B is located at 2i position. C is located at 2i plus 1. And D is located at uh, 2i position of B. And uh, E is located at 2i plus 1. Okay. So now, the another definition of complete binary tree is, if the nodes in the binary tree are represented in an array, if there are no gaps in an array, hence we can say that it is a complete binary tree. So, this is the given array representation. There are no gaps in that array. Hence, we can say that it is a complete binary tree. Complete binary tree. Next, go for this one. In this array representation, there are no gaps in that representation. Hence, we can say that it is also a complete binary tree. Next, go for third one. Okay, here A is located at index 1. So, here I is equal to 1. Okay, its left child is located at 
2 into i, 2i means i value 1, so 2i means that is 2. So b is located. Its right child is located at 2i plus 1, so 2i plus 1 means that is 3. 2 into 1 plus 1, that is 3. Okay, next one. Go for b. b left child is there. b left child is located at 2i, so here it is not there. But i value is 2, 2 into 2, that is 4. It is not located. B right chain is 2i plus 1. I value is 2, 2 into 2 plus 1, that is 5. It is, it is not there, then hence we can represent the vacant place. Okay, next C left chain is D. So 2i left chain is located at 2i, where i is equal to 3, 2 into 3, that is 6. D is located at 6. C right child is E. It is located at 2i plus 1 where i is equal to 3. 2i plus 1 means 2 into 3 plus 1 that is 7. So at the index 7 E is stored. Now this binary tree can be represented in that representation. Here there are two gaps are there. Okay. So, if there are any graph, any gaps in the representation of above binary tree in an array, if any gaps are there, hence we can say that it is not a complete binary tree. Not a complete binary tree. Okay. So, if this is the another definition. Okay. If the given binary tree can be represented in array or a sequential representation, if any gaps are there, hence we can say that that binary tree is not a complete binary tree. If there are no gaps in that array representation of the above binary tree, hence we can say that it is a complete binary tree. Okay. Now, so here, uh, the nodes are represented in an array level by level. In the first level A is there. In the second level B and C are there. In the third level D, E, F, G. So here the nodes are represented in the array by level by level. So in the level by level we have to follow the left to right. Here A is there in the first level. In the second level B and C. B and C. In the third level, D, E, F, G are there. Okay. Now, in this one, in the first level, A is there. In the second level, B, C are there. In the third level, D, E are there. Okay. Next one. In this figure, in the first level, A is there. In the second level, B, C are there. In the third level, B does not have any chain, but we have to, fi we, we have to fix vacant places in that representation. Next, D and E. Okay. Now, observe this tree here in the, in the complete binary tree. So, in the last level, the nodes are inserted as left as possible. But here, the nodes are inserted in the last level at the right hand side. So, because of that reason, it is also not a complete binary tree. Okay. So, once we are understanding the procedure of complete binary tree, then we go for keep. Here, keep is satisfies the complete binary tree property. Okay, except the last level, all the nodes in the tree have two children. Okay, next, go for what are the types of heaps? Heaps are two types. One is maximum heap and second one is minimum heap. What is maximum heap? So, we can take any parent node. If the parent node's value is greater than its children's value, hence we can say that that binary tree satisfies the maximum heap property. Hence, we can say that it is a maximum heap. For example, here 30 and 40 are there. Its parent is 60. So, 60 is greater than 30. 60 is greater than 40. Okay. Parent node value is greater than its children's node's value. So, 60 is greater than 30. 60 is greater than 40. Okay. Now, go for 50. 
Okay, it's a children's are 35, 45. So 50 is greater than 35, 50 is greater than 45. Okay, parent notes value is greater than its children's notes value. Now consider this note. This is 70. Its children's are 60, 50. 70 is greater than 60. 70 is greater than 50. Hence, we can say that the parent note value 70 is greater than its children's notes value 60 and 50. So, hence, it satisfies the maximum heap property. Hence, we can say that it is a maximum heap and it is also a complete binary tree. When we are representing this binary tree in the array representation, there are no gaps are there. Hence, we can say that it is a maximum heap. Next, go for minimum heap. In the minimum heap, if the parent notes value is smaller than its children's value. Okay. So, for example, we can take uh, 20. Okay. So, this is the parent of 40 and 50. Here, parent notes value is 20. So, here 20 is less than 40 and 20 is less than 50. So, it satisfies the minimum heap property. Now, consider this note 30. Its children's are 60 and 70. So, 30 is less than 60. 30 is less than 70. So, this it satisfies the minimum heap property. It satisfies the minimum heap property. Now consider this note. Its children's are 20 and 30. Okay. So 10 is less than 20. 10 is less than 30. Okay. So all the parent notes satisfies the uh, minimum heap property. Hence we can say that it is a minimum heap. Okay. Now consider this note. There are no children's are there. It is the minimum of its children. Okay. So there is no condition checking at the leaf nodes. Okay. So this is the example for maximum heap and this is the example for minimum heap. In the case of maximum heap, if the parent nodes value is greater than its children's values. Okay. So this is the maximum heap property. Minimum heap property, if the parent nodes value is less than the children's nodes values, it is the minimum heap property. And this is the complete binary tree. Before going to maximum heap and minimum heap, first we have to understand the complete binary tree. Once we are understanding the complete binary tree, now we go for maximum heap and minimum heap. Okay. Now we have to go the how the insertion operation can be performed in maximum heap. Next video contains how to perform the insertion operation for getting maximum heap. That can be discussed in the next video. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So, develop Srini Vasarao. Develop Srini Vasarao. Thank you.